Guys, I've always thought Tanzania starts and ends with Zanzibar and the Islam, but that is not even half of what this world-class destination has to offer. After traveling through these regions, I wanted to see something else that no other place in the world can offer me. This, my friends, is Northern Tanzania. Northern Tanzania has become popular as it is home to some of East Africa's most famous parks and reserves. It has always been a dream of mine to visit and travel through this part of Tanzania, from Africa's highest mountain to one of the greatest wildlife spectacles on the planet. Home to Kilimanjaro, the Serengeti, the almighty Lake Natron, Odonyo Lungai, and also home to one of the world's oldest tribes, the Maasai. This is a side of Tanzania I never knew existed up until I visited and I hope my camera would do justice to showing you the beauty of this world-class destination. So ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Northern Tanzania. I made a travel guide after traveling through northern Tanzania. It has the location and contact of all the accommodation I stayed in, the tour company I used, places to visit, and basically how to plan your itinerary. To download the travel guide, look at the description section below. My journey starts at Arusha after I picked up my truck from Preston Trail, the best travel and tour company that operates here in northern Tanzania. The first place of my itinerary was to visit the Ngorongoro Conservation Area because I've heard a lot about it. What are we expecting to see today? More like, more species like zebra, wild beasts, yeah. buffalo, some lion. I hope we're going to get to see the rhino. Ngorongoro Crater is the home of uh, rhinos. Rhinos? Yes. So, fingers crossed. One of the things that you're going to experience today is a drastic change of, uh, of the weather. And once we get there, you will see a lot of fog, which now, surprisingly, on top of the crater, the weather on top of the crater and underneath, and once you, you go to the crater floor, yeah. it is two different uh, weather environment. It took us just below one hour to reach the entrance where I spotted a lot of safari vehicles that were all on the same mission like I was. Jambo Rafiki, we are right here at the, conserva at the Ngorongoro Con Conservation. Uh, main entrance gate where we're going to make payment get all the approval to go inside and it's just so fascinating to see a lot of safari trucks here so for the price if you're a foreigner or non-east african it'll only cost 60 us dollars that's just an entrance fee but now if you're going with the safari jeep safari jeep will cost 250 us dollars you might be asking yourself why do we have to pay so much money to continue conserving the welfare of the ecosystem in the conservation area. But also, I believe that money is to kind of limit the number of vehicles that enter at the crater floor. Because if it is cheap, everyone will, will go in there. And then once everyone goes in there, it doesn't become first special, but also there's a lot of uh, distraction that will happen. On entering the conservation area, there's a huge altitude difference between the crater floor and the forest, which leads to substantial fog in the morning. Driving through this road seems like we are entering some kind of lost wall. After a couple of hours driving, I was gifted with the first view of the crater and it blew my mind, although it was foggy. Like, what, what did it yeah, view like? You would see the entire crater. Just the entire, yeah, crater. Just the entire crater. Here we are on top, 2,300 meters above sea level. Joe! Yes, 2,300 meters of sea level. And deep is 600 meters deep. 600 meters, meters deep. deep. And diameter is like 21 kilometers. We had to drive to another viewing point that was a bit clearer before deciding to drive down into the crater. Descending down the 2 meter high unique crater floor through the scenic wall of the crater and soaking the great view of the forest was surreal. Yo, this is a scenic drive, guys. Right? We're going the valley now and I can just see the whole crater the lake on the other side 
The Ngorongoro crater is a collapsed volcano that before collapsing was taller than Kilimanjaro, I was told, and it's now home to 250 wildlife including elephants, lions and rhinos. This is one of the world's most insane places to go on a safari. It is not the density of the creator that leaves me in surprise, but the high density of wildlife here is nothing like I've seen before. There are so many animals here because the creator floor is a wide open plain that allows animal prey to spot their predators from afar. So right now we can see um, the zebras uh, on our right side. And uh, zebras are actually very cool animals to observe. And I feel like whenever you're on safari, the best thing you should do rather than ticking an animal in the bucket list is try to understand their behavior. As you can see, most of the zebras here, they are having um, a, a, like a crisscross. Like yeah. one is facing on the other side, the other one is facing on the other direction. This is actually, they are like soldiers to one another. I got your back, you got my back. Like a zebra. <laughs> <laughs> you know, They're very vulnerable. Yes. Zebra. Yes, from the predators. Because they, they never know which side or direction uh, a lion or, or uh, a dangerous animal could be coming oh, from. Oh. But also another thing that we have observed here, you see like there's one now uh, playing with the dust. Yeah. Basically what uh, that zebra is trying to do is to remove ticks and uh, insects from the body. And the activity is called wallowing. So, you know, uh, it's like sunbathing. Yeah, there's a lot to learn. Let's yeah. go see so, more. Animals have called this crater home for thousands of years and they feel no need to migrate due to the constant flow of water. But not so many animals can descend into the crater. That is why you would not see a giraffe here. There's another lion, male lion over there. By the way, not to brag, when you come for a safari in Tanzania, expect to see a lot of lions. And probably you are wondering, why are there so many lions? Everywhere we go, you know, there's always lions. But the truth is, Tanzania holds 50% of Africa's, actually, I think, world's lion population. So if you come to Tanzania, seeing big cats and lions, especially lions, yeah. expect to see a lot. The Ngurunguru crater is breathtaking and one of the best places in East Africa to see the Big Five and a great way to start your Tanzania adventure. The crater was voted as the Eight Wonders of Africa. The breathtaking view and the number of wildlife spotted here was enough to leave me speechless. Oh my god, finally we spotted a family of elephants, about yeah, three matured ones and one very young one. And if you notice, this particular one right here is quite elderly, one of the stocks is missing usually they have to and uh you know they usually would miss they would lose it maybe if they get into a fight yeah they, they, they use it to defend themselves right during when they're fighting yeah it's very interesting just watching them like they're so huge and i can only wonder why they're called they're one of the big fives you know but then i was beginning to imagine what i would see when i get to the serengeti which happens to be my next destination but before we left, my tour company Pristine Trails had set up a nice lunch for us in preparation for the three hours dusty ride to the Serengeti. The driver cooked up this nice meal for us. Yeah. Thank I'm you. your stomach engineer. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. All right. Brother. Thanks so yeah. much. Yes, yes. In the backdrop, I don't know if the camera can show you, but there's a breath on there. It's beautiful. So guys, let's eat, let's eat, let's eat. After the meal, it was then time to say goodbye to the Ngorongoro crater and begin the journey to the Serengeti, which happens to be a huge bucket list destination for me because it is the world's best safari destination offering wide plains, incredible wildlife viewing and the almighty wildebeest migration. Another three and a half hours on a bumpy road usually referred to as African massage, we arrive at the gates of Serengeti. So we made it to Serengeti! Alright, you can see. Serengeti National Park. Let's go, let's go, let's go see the big five. The first thing you will notice is the endless plains, and that is what Serengeti means in the Maasai language. 14,000 square kilometers of African savanna shared between Tanzania and Kenya. Driving through the Serengeti during sunset was magical. There was this natural glow that spread through the vast landscape and it was the most beautiful thing I have ever seen. The day was coming to an end and I made it just in time to our campsite. I stayed at the Inyota Luxury Camp. I highly would recommend this camp if you are visiting Serengeti because 1. It is newly built camp and 2. It is one of the most affordable but yet luxurious camp here in the Serengeti. So you find out for more in my travel guide. 
Once again, you are welcome. Thank you so much. Neutral actual camp. If there are no mosquitoes, so it means I can leave it open and sleep. Uh, and no, 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 leave open this one because sometimes when you are switch on right, so light yeah. like this one, then it attracts yeah, other so insects. Some insect inside it fall like there. Yeah. So you are these just flies here? No, the flies. Honestly, this has to be one of the nicest tented oh. camp we have stayed in all through this trip. So. Kudos to you guys. You guys uh, looks very, looks luxurious, huh? Oh yeah. Instead of having like a, a telephone, I can use this one to talk. So, but how would I know who I am speaking to? What if I need something from the reception? You can open this only one. Don't touch this middle button. Mm -hmm. Then after open, you press it this way. Ah, when you press it, then you talk. After finish talk. Remove finger. This is toilet and also we have outside the shower. And this is hot water shower. It looks like I'm gonna have my bath here. Uh -huh. Do animals come here? No, no, no animal, animal comes here. Yeah. yeah. I think it has a sound. What's so that? What sound is that? In the hyena. Yeah, the hyena. Hyena is close by here. Yeah, it's coming here. So it come comes down. here. No, come. It's come here. It's around here, but it, yeah, I'm convinced I'm gonna have a pleasant night rest without being eaten by an animal. After the weird but fun room tour, we got out at the restaurant for dinner. It was a nice meal and a great way to end the day in preparation for an eventful game drive the next day. Green lamp here. This is rice and this is mashed potato. You're welcome and enjoy your dinner. I spent the rest of that evening dancing because one of the guests here was celebrating her birthday. To make my dream come through, my goal here in Serengeti is first to spot the big five, then learn about their behavioral pattern, enjoy the sunrise from the hot air balloon and watch the wilder beast migration. I hope I'm able to do all of this. Alright guys, so it's a very beautiful day here in the Serengeti. We're heading for our very first game drive here. So I noticed here in our safari truck, there's a, there's a radio and it's it's in every safari truck. So I'm just curious, because um, most times they, spe they speak and communicate in Swahili. So I'm like, I, I can't hear what you guys are saying. So why, why do you have a radio here in the safari truck? Yeah, we use this communication. Uh, sometimes, you know, we get stuck, we get anything, emergence. Yeah. So we use this for communication to other driver to get help, mm -hmm. you know. And sometimes we use this uh, to get even location because the park is huge, you yeah. know. 14,000 square kilometer, finding the animals sometimes come very difficult. Yeah. I never knew giraffes don't lay down to sleep like other human beings. Interesting. So it is said if the giraffe would lay down and uh, sleep or just lay down, Yeah. The heartbeat because it's so huge, the pressure of blood pumping is so huge. Yeah. It might even blow out there. Okay. Their brain. So they don't they don't sleep. They don't sleep. Um so we have a lion just um laying right lying right here. Um from the look of it I think it probably ate last night and uh, cause the, the, the stomach is big, right? So um you know if you're gonna notice we haven't seen any female lion, the lioness taking naps because I assume they are going out to hunt and then the, the male just take care of the territory, right? Well, we can't even find the cops. They're probably hidden somewhere. But yo, this, <laughs> this lion is really huge, huh? Look at the claws. The moment right now, yeah. the male, the female peed, but then the male is, uh, kind of smelling on the pee. Why? Why is that? So the male is trying to understand if the female, she is... If she's what? She's in, she's in her moment of mating. You liking the shirt? Loving it, bro. So in wildlife photography, you... <laughs> Even our driver. Our driver is getting some shots, huh? Yeah. <laughs> so finally i almost gave up on seeing the elephant the family of elephant they are like what almost 20 numbers right so many there's so many right look at this just look at this guys beautiful a very calm but yet aggressive animal you don't want to talk with a lot uh, with, with an elephant at least this one's all their talks is, is complete you see this impala yeah yeah, this is uh, 
harem. Where's harem? Harem, it contains one male, many female and young. Mm. So these are, we call them the, the McDonald's of the world. Oof. Everybody eats them. <laughs> yeah, the lions eat them, the leopards eat them. You know, the babies are eaten by cheetahs. <laughs> so yeah, they should be tasty. Just like <gasps> McDonald's. So you see all these females, mm -hmm. they're owned by one male. And if you take a closer look, the male will go eat and they will come and you know, like, let's go baby, yeah. <laughs> you know? Make sure that he leaves no female behind because he owns all of this. All the females? All the females. Polygamy. <laughs> Viewing wildlife inside the safari truck is a bit limiting. And since the bucket item for me here in the Serengeti was to go on a balloon ride, I booked a flight with the Serengeti balloon safari to experience sunrise from the Serengeti and also spot wildlife from on top. All right, so today we're going to experience the balloon safari right here in the Serengeti. Um, so um, it requires that you wake up early because they have to come pick you up by five. So I was up by four and now we're ready. It's almost five. So I have to go meet them up and then we're going to drive for an hour to the launch site and then we're going to take off by six. All right. Um, all right. So we're just uh, getting set right now. Just have some ginger coffee and uh, they're doing checks on the balloons to make sure it's good to go. So in a couple of minutes, we'll be boarding and uh, hitting the sky just right when the sun is about to rise. My name is Abeid, and I'm going to be your captain this morning. For those who have been in balloon before, you will notice somewhere else around the world, they inflate the balloon, they stand it up, then they call their passengers in. But in Serengeti, we preload our passengers in astronaut's position while the basket is, is still lying on its side. <laughs> all right, all right, we're in the air, we're in the air, we're in the air. <laughs> So I can spot some um, oh, buffaloes like down there. So we're trying to see if we can go as close as possible so we can get the shot. And yeah, it's, uh, it's a bit cold. And I'm just at the extreme end. So I'm getting most of the views here. Buffaloes over here. So right there, there are hippos just right here. We have flown so high and so well that nature has joined us in laughter and set us back again into the loving arms of Mother Earth. So instead of saying cheers or sante or prost here in Tanzania, and repeat after me, we like to say Maisha Marefu. Marefu. And Maisha Marefu, long life. Let's go. Okay. A million views. After the flight, we had a bush breakfast, which was a perfect way to end my adventure here in the Serengeti. I have never been so up close to wildlife before. There is something very special about seeing animals in the wild in their natural habitat. It's a unique experience and I would just stare at them forever. It's so fascinating. Going on this trip has not only allowed me to see the big five up close, but I got to learn about the way these animals behave. This is something you would not learn until you visit. On my way back from this trip of a lifetime, we passed through the Great Rift Valley into the Lake Natron area. This area is home to Odoyo Lungai, the only active volcano that erupts a black substance called carbonatite. In my previous video, I did a 7 hours hike to the active volcano and this was the highlight of my entire trip to Northern Tanzania. You should go watch that episode if you haven't. But what really brought me here was a unique yet dangerous lake found in this region called Lake Natron. Researchers found that this lake is one of the most dangerous in the world since it's mirror-like and attractive. It lures birds to take a dive and immediately turns them to stone, like you can see in these pictures. Lake Natron over the years has become a major tourist attraction. It is the only regular breeding area for Africa's lizard flamingos. 
despite different creatures dying here only the flamingos can survive here because of their tough skin and scaly legs which prevent bonds this makes lake natron a perfect place to spot big flamingos in their thousands i stayed at the lake natron campsite and this is the closest you can stay to the lake i loved every bit of this experience i was getting here Download my travel guide if you plan on visiting this area. All the activities I did and contact is in there. After traveling through northern Tanzania, my childhood dream has finally come through and I hope it motivated you to plan a trip here as well. Special thanks to Pristine Trails and my tour guide for hard for assisting me travel through this area. Thanks for watching, subscribe to the channel and wait on for the next episode.